What is up guys, Mark Fetchers here, and today I have a really fun food review for you. I've been watching the NBA playoffs this, this past weekend, and they were advertising this, this sandwich all over TNT and ABC, and it is the Sourdough King from Burger King. It, I mean, I'm feeling the, uh, the grease level on here is next level for sure. Um, just just on the wrapper, but here's the sandwich. Um, let me show you. It just looks like some Texas toast, um, you know, with a sandwich. It, let me open it up for you. It has like a queso. I found a hair. This is not good. This is why you don't eat at Burger King. Uh, there's a hair in my sandwich. So let me take that out. I'm not a big germaphobe, so I won't be all worried about it but so overall here is the sandwich um we're gonna do a rebiteability and i actually really like burger king i think their french fries are way better than the mcdonald's french fries because they're more potatoy they're thicker so it really does add a more i don't know i don't like skinny french fries but so we'll do rebiteability and then we'll see it again and or bite rebite ability the hair's throwing me off but let's just dig right in mm. you know pretty good it didn't have any ketchup which could really be used to, but the star of the show on this is the texas toast or the sourdough bread and I gotta say, I'm really digging that sourdough bread. The sourdough bread, it's chewy, but it's got it's got really nice flavors. It has a really nice toast on it. Um, and this is a behemoth of a sandwich. The protein level on this is definitely next level. Is it the greatest sandwich of all time? No, overall the first bite was probably about a six or seven um, because it, because it was really meaty, it was really cheesy, you got a little bacon, you got a little onion, but did you really get anything, any, like any wow factor? I don't think so. It was not a next level bite, but let's just dig right in to rebiteability and see if it really improves or if it doesn't or if it stays the same. Um, yeah. About the same, the, like the cheese sauce on this Big King um, is pretty good. The bread is really the star of this sandwich as far as it's, I think it's better than a burger patty. But the only one that this is is just the Big King. And as far as, I'm not digging the Big King. I've never had the original Big King, so maybe that's the problem. But... Overall, you know, the hair and the food is just being average. And the biggest factor, the reason why I do not recommend this, is this is actually a, um, I paid $10 for this. And it's not worth $10. Burger King has better deals like the, the, the 10 nuggets for $1.50 or the two cheeseburgers, fries, and a drink for $3.50. Way better deal. So overall, do not recommend. The sandwich didn't taste bad, but it had zero wow factor. Wasn't next level. And the sourdough bread couldn't save it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. And put just, just put down in the comments if you, um, you know have any ideas or videos that you, or food you want me to review. I'm always open to new ideas. I love reading your comments. Um, and make sure to hit that notification button if you haven't. But have a great day and hope you don't get a hair in your burger like I did.